21 years ago, we heard the promise of God to the people of our church to bless them and grow them and to expand in the numbers of people we reach. Here are some personal stories that highlight this journey of promise. My name is Margaret Leschuk. This is Ruth Edwards and Joanne Ashton. And we are all kindred spirits. We come to church every Monday to have fellowship together. That's a big part of what we do, uh, just touching base with each other and what's going on in our lives. Then we, uh, after we visit for a while, we have a wonderful um, table with some little treats for us, and we get to have that. And then we get the biggest treat of all because we read God's Word together and discuss it. And then at the end, we have prayer time so that we can uh, lift up each other's needs in prayer. I was one of the first original, in the first original group, and uh, Nancy Payton was our leader at that time, and we met in the manse um, that was available to us. No, and as the church grew, we progressed to different rooms, and uh, we are now here in uh, this room, and uh, we have uh, around 45 to 50 ladies that belong to our group. When specific needs come up in the church and we hear of them, we try to uh, donate some money toward that cause. Sometimes the young people get a little bit. Sometimes um, the boxes that we sent, the Christmas boxes, need postage, and so we can help with that. And gas money for going to Mexico or other places where mission work is done by the young people. So we try to just plug in to little things that we can accomplish to help the cause along. It's great to have this room at church to meet in the Westminster um, room. We used to meet up in the education room, but we outgrew it. And when we outgrew that room, we brought Jesus with us. There's a picture of Jesus, and we made sure that Jesus came down with us. Moms Next is a group for mothers of kindergarten through high school. And it's the next phase of support for mothers uh, after MOPS. We've had a MOPS group here for ages and ages and here at Centerville. And as moms trickle out of that group, they come into the Moms Next group. And it's uh, been a huge blessing and support. We just started it last year. We're in the beginning of our second year having a yard sale this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to all the donations from all the wonderful CPC folks and, and the gals from the group. Our mantra, so to speak, is that no mom alone um, because mothering matters and it's through here that we can reach moms um, for the glory of Christ uh, right where they uh, need to be reached so they can be equipped, uh, empowered, um, lifted up to know that what they do really matters um, for the future and for God's kingdom. And we've just been tremendously blessed by mm -hmm. CPC. We see God's hand um, in it all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, what a wonderful way to serve the Lord, um, to be in the front row of His stage. We are just so honored um, that God can use us for this ministry. Can't thank Him enough. My name is Cynthia, and I have been a part of MOPS here at Central Presbyterian Church for seven years. And uh, my five-year-old son has been coming to MOPS this whole time. And recently, I also became a member of BSF that meets here at CPC. And a couple weeks ago, I was driving into the parking lot, and I made a comment about how the parking lot was so full. And from the back of the minivan, my five-year-old said to me, Mommy, that's because people want to learn about Jesus. And it's just amazing to me that my son associates CPC with learning about Jesus. And it uh, just gave me chills then, and it actually gives me chills now. And uh, so, thank you.